Hello everybody, welcome to the mystical realm of African mythical creatures. From fearsome beasts like the Kongamato to benevolent spirits like Yengu, discover the diverse roles these creatures play in the cultural tapestry of Africa. Get ready to be mesmerised by the magic and wonder of these legendary beings. Let the adventure begin. Tokoloshi Tokoloshi is a creature from Zulu and Corsa folklore, prevalent in South Africa. Depicted as a small, impish humanoid figure, Tokoloshi is believed to be mischievous and malevolent. Its role varies from being a malevolent spirit that causes harm and misfortune to a guardian of sacred places, depending on the beliefs of the different communities. It is often invoked as an explanation for unexplained events, or to instill fear in children, encouraging good behaviour. Dinganek Dinganek is a legendary creature from the folklore of East Africa, particularly near the Lake Victoria. It is often described as a fearsome, hybrid creature with the body of a crocodile, the head of a leopard and the tail of a fish. Dinganek is infamous for its aggressive and predatory behaviour, hunting and attacking both humans and other animals. In local lore, it is considered a dangerous and malevolent force, best avoided by those venturing near the waters it inhabits. Mokele Mbembe Mokele Mbembe is a creature of legend found in the mythology of the Pygmy tribes in the Congo Basin, Africa. Often described as a water-dwelling creature, resembling a sauropod dinosaur, it is believed to inhabit remote lakes and rivers. Mokele Mbembe's role in folklore is that of a cryptid and a guardian of its territory. It is rarely seen, but its presence is said to bring both blessings and warnings to those who live near its habitat. Some view it as a protective force, while others consider it a potential threat. Popoboa Popoboa is a malevolent creature from Swahili folklore in East Africa, particularly in Zanzibar and Tanzania. It is said to be a shape-shifting, bat-like entity that preys on individuals and families, causing fear and terror during the night. Popobara is notorious for attacking its victims and is often associated with tales of demonic possession and supernatural horror. Belief in the Popobara is prevalent in the region and its legend is used to explain unexplained events and maintain social order. Mamiwata Mamiwata is a water spirit or deity revered in the folklore of various African countries, including Nigeria, Ghana and Cameroon. Often depicted as a beautiful, enchanting woman with long, flowing hair and a fish tail, Mamiwata is associated with water, fertility and wealth. She is believed to inhabit rivers, lakes and the ocean, where she bestows blessings upon her devotees. Mamiwata is also associated with healing and is revered as a powerful, mysterious figure with the ability to bring both prosperity and misfortune. Bahali Bahali hails from a mythology of the Mandinka people in West Africa, particularly in countries like Liberia and Gambia. This mythical creature takes the form of a gigantic malevolent beast. Bahali is often described as a monstrous reptile with immense strength and ferocity, resembling a crocodile. It is believed to be a guardian of ancient knowledge and sacred sites, fiercely protecting them from intruders. Bahali is also thought to be a symbol of power and authority, revered by some and feared by others. Impendulu Also known as the lightning bird, originates from Zulu mythology in South Africa. It is depicted as a large bird or a bird-like creature capable of summoning thunderstorms and lightning. The Impendulu is believed to be both a creature of destruction and a source of power. It is said to be able to drain the blood of its victims and control the weather, making it both feared and respected. In some tales, the Impendulu is associated with witchcraft, serving as a familiar to witches and sorcerers. Amit Amit originates from ancient Egyptian mythology. This monstrous creature is often depicted with the head of a crocodile, the body of a lion and the hindquarters of a hippopotamus. Amit's role is that of a devourer of souls, specifically during the weighing of the heart ceremony after a person's death. It is believed that the heart of the deceased is weighed against the feather of Ma'at, the goddess of truth and justice. If the heart is heavy with sin, Amit consumes it, leading to the soul's eternal damnation. Grootslang Grootslang is a mythical creature found in the folklore of South Africa, specifically among the San and Khoikhoi people. This legendary being is depicted as an enormous serpent with the ability to shapeshift into different forms. Grootslang is associated with creation and destruction, representing the duality of life. 
It is believed to be the guardian of precious gems and metals hidden in the deep caves of the Richtersfeld mountains. Groot's slang is both feared and respected, and its legend serves as a cautionary tale to discourage greed and overreaching ambitions. Yumbos Yumbos, also known as Yoruba fairies, are mythical beings from the folklore of the Yoruba people in Nigeria and neighbouring regions of West Africa. They are depicted as tiny, ethereal spirits, residing in the forests and open fields. Yumbos are believed to be benevolent and mischievous creatures that can bestow blessings upon those who show them respect. However, they may also play tricks on those who disrespect nature or the spirits of the land. They are considered guardians of nature, and encounters with them are seen as both enchanting and cautionary. Inkanyamba Inkanyamba is a legendary creature from Zulu and Corsa folklore in South Africa. Often depicted as a gigantic serpent or dragon, Inkanyamba is believed to reside in deep, remote bodies of water, particularly in rivers and lakes. As a creature of water, it is both revered and feared, with some considering it a deity of rain and fertility, while others consider it a destructive force, causing storms and floods. It is a guardian of its aquatic domain, and tales of Inkanyamba serve as a reminder of the power and unpredictability of nature. Kalanoro Kalanoro is a creature found in the folklore of Madagascar. It is described as a small, monkey-like humanoid creature with long hair and sharp teeth. Kalanoro is considered elusive and shy, seldom seen by humans. Some Malagasy people believe that these creatures can bring good luck to those who catch a glimpse of them, while others see them as mischievous beings known for stealing food and household items. The Kalanora's role in local lore is that of a cryptid, adding a touch of mystery and wonder to the island's rich folklore. Kongamato Kongamato is a creature of African folklore, specifically associated with the people of Zambia and Congo. Depicted as a large bat-like creature with a wingspan of around four to seven feet, Kongamato is feared as a harbinger of misfortune and a vicious man-eater. The legend warns against approaching its territory, as it is believed to attack and carry off unsuspecting victims, especially those who venture too close to its nests or breeding grounds. Ninkinanka Ninkinanka is a mythical creature from West African folklore, primarily among the people of Gambia and Senegal. Often depicted as a giant dragon-like creature with a long serpentine body and the head of a horse and the neck of a giraffe, Ninkinanka is feared as a malevolent being. It is believed to dwell in the swamps and dense forests, guarding these territories and striking fear into those who encroach upon its domain. The legend of Ninkinanka serves as a cautionary tale, warning against venturing into dangerous and unexplored areas. Jengu Jengu is a water spirit from the folklore of the Sour ethnic groups in Cameroon. Depicted as a beautiful mermaid-like creature with long hair and half-human, half-fish features, Jengu is considered a benevolent being. It is believed to reside in rivers and water bodies, bestowing blessings of prosperity, fertility and good fortune upon those who seek its favour. Jengu is revered and respected, and its role in local mythology emphasises the sacredness of water and the interconnectedness between humans and nature. Ananzi Ananzi is a legendary spider figure from the folklore of the Ashanti people in Ghana, as well as other Akan-speaking groups in West Africa and the Caribbean. Ananzi is depicted as a cunning and clever character, often using wit and intelligence to outsmart others and solve problems. He is both a trickster and a hero, known for bringing wisdom, stories and cultural knowledge to humanity. Anansi's role in folklore serves as a moral guide, teaching valuable life lessons through entertaining tales. Kishi Kishi is a malevolent creature found in the folklore of Angola. It is described as a vampiric being, often taking the form of a hyena. Kishi is feared for its ability to transform into a human and infiltrate villages to prey on unsuspecting victims, particularly children and travellers. In some tales, Kishi is associated with witches and black magic using dark powers to terrorise and harm people. It serves as a warning against strangers and highlights the significance of vigilance in Hausa folklore. Buddha Buddha is a shape-shifting creature from the folklore of Morocco and North Africa. It is believed to be a malevolent, nocturnal creature that can take the form of a hyena. Buddha is feared for its ability to possess humans, leading them to commit acts of violence or witchcraft. 
it is associated with black magic and evil spirits. The legend of Buddha serves as a warning against engaging in witchcraft and the consequences of invoking malevolent forces. Mungwa Mungwa is a legendary creature from Swahili folklore in East Africa. It is often described as a large, ferocious feline, similar to a lion or a giant leopard. Mungwa is said to be a man-eater, hunting and devouring both humans and livestock. Encounters with Mungwa are rare and often terrifying, and its legend serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of venturing into the wild and unexplored areas. Adzi Adzi is a vampire-like creature from the mythology of the Yu people in Ghana and Togo. It is believed to be a shapeshifter, capable of transforming into a firefly or a human. Adzi is associated with witchcraft and is said to feed on the blood of its victims, often children. It is both feared and reviled, with people taking precautions to protect themselves from this malevolent entity. The legend of Adze reinforces the belief in the existence of dark forces and the importance of warding off evil spirits. Asenbosum Asenbosum is a creature from Akan mythology in Ghana. It is depicted as a vampiric, forest-dwelling creature with iron teeth and hook-like feet. Asenbosum is known for hanging upside down from trees, waiting to ambush unsuspecting travellers and feed on their blood. It is believed to possess supernatural strength and agility, making it a formidable and feared entity. The legend of Asenbosum serves as a warning against venturing into the forest at night and highlights the dangers of encountering malevolent beings. Abada Abada, also known as the Amela Tuka, is a cryptid creature from the mythology of the Pygmy tribes in the Congo Basin, Africa. It is described as a massive unicorn-like creature. Abada is believed to inhabit remote, dense forests, and it is known for its elusive nature. The legend of Abada adds an air of mystery and wonder to the rich folklore of the region, inspiring tales of exploration and adventure. Aikamuxa Aikamuxa is a mythical creature from the folklore of the Khoi Khoi people in South Africa. It is depicted as a humanoid with eyes on its feet and backward facing feet, enabling to see its own footprints. Aikamuxa is believed to roam the deserts and barrenlands, and its gaze is said to be fatal to those who meet its eyes. The legend of Aikamuxa serves as a cautionary tale, warning against wandering aimlessly in the harsh desert landscapes. Gargarib Gargarib is a mythical creature from the folklore of the Sand People in Southern Africa. Depicted as a giant anthropomorphic baboon, Gargarib is both revered and feared. It is considered a guardian spirit of the wilderness and a protector of wildlife. The Sand People believe that Gargarib can punish those who harm animals or disrespect the natural world. The legend of Gargarib emphasizes the importance of coexisting harmoniously with nature and respecting the balance of the ecosystem. Kianda Kianda is a water spirit from the folklore of the Luya people in Kenya. Often depicted as a beautiful, enchanting woman with long flowing hair and a fish tail, Kianda is associated with rivers and waterfalls. She is revered as a benevolent being, bestowing blessings upon those who offer her gifts and respect her domain. Kianda is considered a guardian of the waters, protecting fishermen and travellers who seek her favour. She is also believed to have healing powers, bringing relief to the sick and the weary. If you found these African mythical creatures captivating, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more enchanting content. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share the magic with your friends and stay tuned for more mythical adventures. Thank you for watching. Yours truly, Mythos the Historian.